It appears as if the situation that began with Eric Burkhardt tweeting out a week before the combine that the Arizona Cardinals better fucking pay Kyler or we ain't playing football. Mm -hmm. Publicly putting it out there, putting the pressure on the Arizona Cardinals from a media fan perspective. Laid out in this entire letter about how much better the Arizona Cardinals have gotten since Kyler Murray was their quarterback. And Kyler Murray was sitting around looking at everybody else getting paid, wondering, whoa, 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 whoa. There ain't no organization or program that's had a bigger turnaround since quarterbacks been added except for me in the NFC West, which was absolutely packed and loaded. We ended up winning that thing going to the goddamn playoffs just a few years back. We had Josh Rosen playing quarterback. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. Now, granted, Cliff Kingsbury deserves some credit here because he's become a much better head coach and that entire culture has changed. Steve Kime, the GM who has gotten added pieces, J.J. Watt, DeAndre Hopkins, they lose Chandler Jones, but they still got Buda Baker and a couple other boys, A.J. Green coming in there, James Conner coming in there, and the owner is spending money. So I assume there's a lot of you know, responsibility to go around on why they've had success. But the quarterback, the most important position, it made sense for him to want business to change for himself on the rookie contract. But we did not expect it to be publicly in a diatribe written by his agent that basically said, pay him or we're not tweeting. We're not doing anything. Ooh. Kyler's going to end up going to FaZe Clan. Mm -hmm. He's going to maybe play some baseball. Mm -hmm. He's going to do that entire thing. Then the combine comes. Steve Kime, Cliff Kingsbury both have to answer questions. We actually asked Cliff, uh, Cliff Kingsbury right here about Kyler. It'll all get figured out business the way business. They were just... Uh, they were basically classifying Eric Burkhardt's letter publicly. Oh, that's just a way to do business. Yeah, sure. Not that it's ever happened before really in the NFL, but they were just describing it as that they're passing it off. So then Kyler obviously took all the Cardinal stuff off his Instagram. Holy shit, it's about to go down. Is Baby Buddha over there. The dude who's an absolute sensation, a quarterback, rock star, athlete, superstar on the internet. Kyler Murray about to become traded from the Arizona Cardinals. Then the Arizona Cardinals stuff started filtering back into the Instagram of Kyler Murray. Then there started to be more conversations and it seemed to kind of die off a little bit. Tom Pelissero brought it back up, said, hey, remember the timeline was to get a new deal before draft day. We're like, oh shit. So is Kyler and Eric Burkhart, uh, Burkhart still pushing for a contract because they seen all the money around them. Now, after Patrick Peterson and Chase Edmonds did a podcast, All Things Covered alongside BMAC, uh, CBS Sports Podcast and Chase Edmonds and Patrick Peterson talked about the culture of the Arizona Cardinals and the type of guy that Kyler is, knowing that it would come to a head. There's a new ownership in town. Mm -hmm. Kyler actually answered that and said, hey, I want to win a Super Bowl in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Signed, sealed, delivered. I want to win Super Bowls with the Cardinals. Arizona is home. Then that even got a follow-up because Ian Rappaport tweeted that when Steve Kime was asked whether or not there was any chance of Kyler Murray getting traded, especially because this has been the most insane offseason of all time, uh, Steve Kime said, zero chance. Kyler Murray responded, 100. Whoa. 100. <laughs> so all is good again. It feels like in the fifth largest city in America, one of the most gorgeous places on earth, Phoenix, Arizona, with their star quarterback. He was working out with J.J. Watt. He's putting out positive tweets. He's got photos back on his Instagram. And we don't know if a deal is coming or if a deal is near, but we do know that it feels like they have a lot better relationships going on in the desert right now. And I think we're all very thankful for it because he's electrifying out there. Yeah, I would assume he just, like, I mean, he has all the leverage, right? Right. Realistically, I think he does. I mean, like he 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 we talked about it, how he might be one of those guys who if they didn't come to agreement, he'd just be like, hey, I'm good. I have a bunch of other options. I'm not going to play next year. And they know like their window is kind of now they're spending all this money bringing in all these vets, like good established vets. They kind of need to pay him. Like they can't, they can't get rid of him. I don't know when. Maybe he backed off on getting something done before the draft. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, okay, he's going to sign a massive deal here soon. One hundred. They're already in a conversation because they've talked about him being in the future plans of the Cardinals. He's talked about his future, obviously, as a Cardinal. So they're going to get a deal done. Good for Kyler. Yeah, yeah. massive contract. Hey, good for Eric Burkhardt too. Yeah. Yeah. Shocking mm -hmm. the world with that uh, letter on Twitter. Or Joses. All as well. Chooses, oh, yeah. He spoke, the hell was. Yeah. a word wrong there. Yeah, mm -hmm. very bold uh, decision there. Do you think Cliff called, like, Pete Carroll and LaFleur, like, hey, how are you feeling now that you, I mean, for LaFleur, almost lost your franchise quarterback for Pete Carroll, losing your franchise quarterback? What's life like? Yeah, what do you think? What's life like right now? You guys, you guys signed Geno Smith. We saw that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. maybe he'll be a guy. Yeah. Drew Locke. You got Drew Locke. Maybe he'll be a guy. But it's a lot different than yeah, the guy yeah, that yeah. just showed up, like, 
Hey, clear eyes, full hearts, ready to go. Hey, we're working. Here we are. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, listen, let's get to work. Hey, let's do some squats. Let's go run some right. routes on my house field and everything like that. Russell Wilson is just a guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying Kyler Murray's like that at all because I don't think we've heard that at all about mm-hmm. Kyler Murray out there. But if you believe he's the guy and you know what it's like to uh, for teams and other teams to experience not having somebody and what their uh, franchise is like as that owner, which is the son of the old owner who used to be a little bit of a cheapskate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He used to be a little tight on the dollar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The old owner used to say, oh, I don't need to spend a buck when 10 cents will do just fine. Uh-huh. Okay, and I don't know if he had a southern accent or not. He might have. That's not the case. He passed away in 2019. Rest in peace, cuz. Rest, Rest in peace. peace. Thanks for everything you did for the NFL. Although you were a cheapskate, you were a big, a big time deal. For the NFL, so rest in peace to you. Thanks Son takes over. He starts spending money oh, yeah. now. Mm-hmm. He starts trying to build a culture. So although Patrick Peterson and Chase Edmonds were speaking about a potential culture in the past of the Cardinals, they're trying to change that completely. Also, I'd assume whenever you bring in like a J.J. Ward, it probably brings a little bit of uh, competitive fire, although he's never won a Super Bowl either. It feels like the Cardinals are in a very good place right now. And uh, I don't know if Kyler and Eric Burkhart knew that they're in a very good place, so why are we rocking a boat? Like, let's just pay this guy and keep this thing going. Uh, or if they just thought to themselves, like, hey, isn't it time to pay the quarterback? Whatever the case, if he gets paid, everybody's going to be pumped up about it. It feels like something happened. Uh, like, they had a meeting, like, hey, Kai Kai, we're going to we're gonna pay you, so why don't you, will you calm down? Like, we're going to keep you here. And he was like, oh, okay, that sounds really good. All is good in the land of the rising sun. And he's like, I'll put out some good tweets this time, make everyone feel like we're all good again. So, Because I assume Kyler wasn't going to do that just on his own without them being like, hey, we're going to pay you. There is... House uh-huh. in New Orleans, they call the rising sun. That's literally all I can think of. Whatever you thought of that, yeah. it's and it's been on Banger. That's a banger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Banger. That's all I can think of whenever you're talking about that. But maybe Kyler is offsetting it saying, hey, you can go about doing this in two different ways.